Hey everyone, it's Bob Crossan, Editorial Director for Waterworld and Wastewater Digest. I am joined today by Glenn Thiesing. He is Process Manager for Veolia Water Technologies, as well as Daniel Hurt, Regional Sales Manager for Veolia Water Technologies. And we're going to be talking about Animox deammonification. Thanks for ha for both of you for being here and talking about this subject with us. Yep. Thank you, Bob. Thanks for having us. So why don't we just start first? Let's kind of let us let us set the ground rules or kind of set the stage, so to speak. Um, what is Animox deammonification? Uh, Glenn, could you explain what that process is and what it does? Yeah, I'll try to to be brief about that. There's a lot that could be said, um, but generally, deammonification refers to a biological treatment process that converts ammonia to nitrogen gas. And it usually encompasses two different biological reactions. Uh, the first reaction creates nitrite, or NO2, as we like to say. Uh, and it, that's usually done in an aerobic uh, process, or, or one that requires oxygen, from ammonia. So some ammonia is, is converted to nitrite. Uh, the second reaction is performed by what we refer to as animox bacteria, and they utilize both the nitrite that was created and leftover ammonia together to create nitrogen gas. And that gas is not soluble in the water environment, and then it escapes the water into the atmosphere, uh, which is already about 80% nitrogen gas. So that's how we're removing nitrogen from the water. Okay. So how, how does this differ from denitrification or other nutrient removal technologies? It sounds like there are some, some nuances to that. Uh, there are. The end product is effectively the same. We're, we're taking um, nitrogen that's dissolved in the water and turning it into nitrogen gas, which escapes into the air. So that part is pretty much the same. What's different is that the animox bacteria perform uh, this reaction with significantly less oxygen requirement, and they also do not require organic carbon uh, to remove the same amount of ammonia, uh, which would be required for the more conventional wastewater treatment processes. So you mentioned animox bacteria there. Could you explain a little bit more in detail what animox bacteria do? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, just simply put that they take the nitrite that's produced in the first step and the ammonia that's left over and both dissolved in the water. And then they convert those two compounds into nitrogen gas that then escapes into the atmosphere. Okay. So I know that Veolia's technology, one of the things that you try and do is really create the best environment for those animox bacteria. How does your technology do that? How do you create that environment to make it thrive, Daniel? Um, yes, Bob. Uh, Veolia uh, uses a uh, plastic media um, to provide a home um, for the animox bacteria. Um, this protected, this is being protected within the deep layer um, of the media. So the um, animox bacteria are less susceptible to the shock loads and influent condition swings that can lead to washout of the animox bacteria. So the, the energy savings is something that I think is really interesting. And I know you have some overall goals for Veolia Water Technologies on ecological transformation and creating a better world. Could you talk about how your technology dovetails with that overall goal for Veolia? Yes, Veolia strives to be a steward of the environment by providing an efficient nutrient removal technology. Veolia is committed to reducing ammonia and nitrogen with an energy efficient process without the use of supplementary chemicals like carbon. Well, thank you both for being here and talking about this subject with us and teaching us a little bit more about how this technology works. And if you're interested in learning more about it, check out our video description below. We'll have some links to some resources from Veolia. As, and also note that in Austin, Texas is being designed for their plant down there. So you can learn a little bit more about it from the Austin, Texas folks. And again, thank you both of you, Glenn and Daniel for being here and talking with us more about this technology. Sure. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob.